Hi everyone. I hope you hope you're enjoying this beautiful winter day here in Central Florida. If you're here, it is gorgeous. Not a cloud in the sky. It's amazing. So, but what I wanted to talk to you today is about buying a home in this climate. I don't mean the weather. I don't mean the beautiful weather. I mean the climate of low interest rates, but a strong surging market. I mean. Homes are going uh, and selling within 30 to 40 days. So what does that mean for you if you're a buyer? Well, interest rates are low, still a great time to buy. But, you know, with home values surging, I mean, is it still affordable to purchase a home? Well, you know, in the trend we're going in the next year or two, hopefully uh, it still will be. And what I mean by that is, we have surging prices. So the, the price of homes are going up. They're not skyrocketing like they did in the mid 2000, 2005, 2006, but they are going up and the interest rates are still low. Uh, actually this year over last year, this year the average interest rate is about 2.72% as opposed to last year, which was 3.68%. Uh, but with the rising prices, there could come a point where it erodes at the boost in affordability, especially if, I mean, even with low interest rates, if the income growth does not keep up with the price of the home, of the homes. So that's something to look at and be aware of. So if you're thinking about purchasing in the next year or less, uh, you know, you may want to get in touch with a realtor and start your search, start getting together. So, and then you have to think about the buyer competition. So there is buyer competition. There is a lot of buyers out there and they are serious buyers, right? Uh, so my, always my recommendation to my clients is number one, get pre-approved. Okay. You can get pre-qualified, uh, but when you think you're about 30 days or so away from really wanting to make a decision, go full on and get pre-approved where they check your credit because then it's good for 30 days. You can talk to the lender and see about getting that extended when you get closer to the end. But, you know, that's something you really, really want to do because if you're putting in an offer and you say, hey, look here, I am pre-approved and I can purchase this home as opposed to someone else who's just putting an offer and doesn't have the pre-approval in hand. So that's one up for you. Another thing that you can do, which somebody did when they purchased my home, what is uh, write a letter, write a letter, why you love the home, why you want to buy the home. Uh, now, obviously this goes for primary residences, not so much investments or vacation homes, but you want to, you want to uh, do that include a letter, um, I'm sorry, a picture of you and your family or everybody's going to be living there. It could be you, your spouse and your puppy dog, you know. Uh, so uh, those are my tips for today. And uh, I hope you guys are having a great week. Like I said, it's gorgeous. The weather is amazing. And uh, I hope to see you again soon. So have a great day. Thank you.